Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the game Battletoads. Um, we've got 11 minutes, well, 10 minutes of gameplay here that we're going to be looking at. But um, just so, just to start, um, I've not actually bought this game and at the moment I'm not planning on it because there's mixed reviews all over the place and they didn't do a physical copy. Um, and I really wanted to pick up this game uh, on physical media with like maybe an art book or something because as you can see from the uh, video footage on screen, uh, the art in the game is really cool. It's got a really good aesthetically pleasing cool art style and I really like that. Um, it'd be cool to have an art book with the game um, but they chose not to bother putting it out on disc which rings alarm bells slightly for a big return to a franchise like uh, Battletoads. Um, so I, I've not bought this game yet. I'm really on the fence about it after seeing the mixed reviews out there at the moment. Um, you've got real weird reviews. Now, we'll, 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 there, there is some positive reviews out there, but we'll get to that in a moment. There's some rather weird, very not good reviews with this game at the moment. Uh, game Informer will give it a 50 or 5 out of 10. It has saying, this unfortunate reboot unearths Battletoads name that feels like a drag through the mud. And see now, that's not what I want to be seeing or reading about a game like this. A return to a franchise that's been around for literally donkey's years in, under the, you know, in the, in the grave waiting to be revived and we're getting a 5 out of 10 that's not good and then you have you have other places like the metro in the UK they're giving it a 50 out of 100 as well they're saying in the end we've come to believe that maybe the trolling theory is true and that it's just one big joke carried out by Microsoft and Rare either way we spent the entire game feeling frustrated Oh, that's not good. I'm really not liking the sound of that at all. And then you've obviously got other places reviewing the game. Um, and it just doesn't really work out very good. You've got Windows Central giving it a 60. Mm, no. And then you've got some other places giving it a 60. And although... The general consensus is that it's all right. It's really not a mass massive standout hit like it was, like I was thinking it was going to be. Um, now this was announced a, quite a long time ago, and I was really hyped for this game. Um, I remember playing this on playing the original on my Game Boy. It was one of the games that I picked up, like without even knowing about it. I picked it up, and uh, obviously we're getting now all the way down into 2020 with a game like this and it's been come you know it's come out finally after a long time of waiting and it's not getting the greatest of reception now was i expecting this to get you know in the high 90s no i really wasn't because at the end of the day it's a a lower budget game and you know it's uh it's not a tr it's not triple a top end high budget game and it's not going to be getting the 90s it's not going to get in 95 98 or something because you know it's not a massive triple a game and it's not got a massive storyline and this that, and the other but i was expecting at least a high 80s at least now th i mean i i have to like draw comparisons to this game from um streets of rage 4 now I've played Streets of Rage 4 an awful lot. As you know on the channel, I have uh, I did a full unboxing of the Signature Edition in comparison to the um, the Limited Run Games Edition. So I actually own that game, what, five times? Um, <laughs> so obviously I really liked that game. And one of the reasons I picked up the Signature Edition the game was because it came with all little extras. And you got... A cool music soundtrack and bits and pieces and yeah the, 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 the Streets of Edge 4 was a, a very good game I really enjoyed it and its replayability was there it, it took a quite a chunk of time to complete the game and there was proper online co-op which the replayability of the game 
is automatically there if you can play it online. Whereas there's no online co-op with this game. So for me, that automatically makes the game a single player game because I which don't play games with people at home very often. You know, once in a while somebody will come round and, you know, you play something possibly, but it's not going to have that longevity as if it had online co-op. And from reports and news articles so far, the game takes around three to four hours to completely complete. So I'm really not happy about about that possibility that the game only takes three hours to complete. Um, so other news reports out there at the moment and not again are not really ringing great, really not ringing great for me. So I mean that one on the metro where they're saying it's frustrating. Don't like the sound of that at all. A lot of places are basically saying that the the big beat em up areas of the game are very difficult to figure out what the hell's going on on the screen and it's too busy, um, which is again not a great way, a great report. Um, here you go, look, Battletoads vibrant animation captures the originality, of the spirit of the original but by doing so brings down the lousy gameplay elements and drags the game down. Well, lovely. That's not what I want to hear. I mean, one of the things that frustrates me slightly is they, um, they have sent these crazy boxes of fancy nice things out to all of these reviewers. And it's like, right, so you can build a box of random bits and pieces with like the music soundtrack and a soft toy and this, that and the other. You can't put the game to disc in an art book for the general public. So you can waste money on trying to... And I think that could be why we're getting some crazily high scores here. Because they've been sent like a package of, of stuff to then make sure they're giving it a good review score. One thing that is apparent across all reviews though is that... There is some funny parts in the game and it does make you laugh sometimes, which is, is quite good. I, I kind of like that. The little uh, little humour parts that have been put into the game is always good to see. Um, but I definitely at the moment am on the fence with this. The review scores have not really helped me or convinced me to go and buy this game digitally. I was already like not really keen on the idea of getting it digitally because I don't like digital purchases. And I mean, it just comes across like this is a failed attempt at trying to revive an old franchise, which they could have really pushed hard on. If they had gone for like, I mean, it's 15 99 in the UK. If they had gone for like a, a 25, 30 pound game, and probably try to make it, you know, take at least six or seven hours to complete. So almost like doubling the size of the game by the sounds of it. And like make sure you put in online co-op. I think this game could have done a lot, lot better. Because the art style's there and the IP's there. It's just the lack of co-op seems to have dragged it down. And some of the... the big beat em up areas seems to have dragged it down because people are saying that there's too much going on. Um, now obviously on this video we have here it's only 11 minutes of the game at the beginning so we've not got chunks of the gameplay which is showing the the craziness that other people are reporting. Um, but at the moment I'm really not not feeling it I'm afraid. So uh, if any of you picked up Battletoads yourself which came out today uh, Please let me know your comments down below on the game yourself. You know, did you enjoy it? What are your feelings? Are some of these um, reports giving it 70s and 60s or even 50 like the Metro saying it's frustrating. Are these reports on point? Are they not quite right? I mean, there are some high, high scores out there, but I just think that they're probably not so much paid for reviews, but more... Um, 
suede reviews via other things let's say that so um that's going to do it for the video here I, I do encourage you to leave some comments below but um try and keep it pc i don't don't have massive arguments with people i will just delete them um and please if you're new around here like and subscribe i have got a review later on this week of new super lucky's tale that's just come out on the ps4 and i'll be doing a comparison of that game to the region the original xbox one game um and i'm toying with doing a throwback review for the game sunset overdrive on the xbox one i actually uh i've been really enjoying that game i've played it before but i've been playing it again really because well insomniac are an amazing uh an amazing developer and they made a really good game there and i'm hoping they do a sequel so yeah if you're new around here please like and subscribe um, and look out for more on the channel turn on that notification bell as well if you never want to miss out on an upload <laughs>